Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to another Derail Valley VR video. Now, last time, we made a bit of a blunder, as you would. Um, luckily, it's all fixed now, <laughs> but we can no longer afford the multiple unit license, which is a big bummer. Luckily, we have this job, 18000 a long haul. Um from the machine factory in town, or from the harbor in town to the machine factory in town, and we gotta go to track G30. So, we're gonna go and get on this train right here. Yeah, because, if you guys don't know, last time we, <laughs> you can see how that train's really close to that barrier. Yeah, we kinda crashed into that barrier a little bit, but I, um, I paid the fees. Um, so the train is no longer damaged, but yeah, that does mean, um, yeah, it means we can, we can no longer afford the license we wanted to get, which is a bummer. It's a real bummer, um, but yeah, it's just kind of what happens sometimes in this game. We're gonna go and couple up to these cars over here. It's a long haul, so hopefully we can pull it out okay. I feel like we've handled um, loads of three, especially pulling it out this way. This is um, the more sh this is the shallower um, way to get out of this um, this yard. We could. There's also this way to get out of this yard, which is overall shallower but it does have a big steep gradient that we have to climb up uh this way out there's no big steep gradient we have to worry about so hopefully we can just pull uh pull in back up to the cars that we need to take and just go if not and we have to pull them out and do the turntable i guess that'd be fine as well uh, really it's just you know i really don't want to i really didn't want to be doing this hauling mission or at least i didn't want to be doing this hauling mission with just one train i wanted to have another train or a steam train, but I know the steam trains. We've already talked about that. We're not getting those first. We're going to get those after multiple unit. Um, although I have been doing some research. And just from the way I've been looking at things, the steam trains aren't that much better than a two unit. They're not that much better than a two unit. And they're, there's way more work involved. So I have no idea why the license is more expensive. In my opinion, I feel like it shouldn't be. Um, but I don't know. I don't make the game. Let me just see. Okay, so yeah, these are our cars right here. And yeah, we can just back up straight to them. Beautiful. Yeah, this is G3. Just checking, but yeah, this looks like the containers. Yep. These are our containers, so yeah, we're just gonna pull straight through, and then back up to these. And that'll be a good We'll be ready to haul off here. So let's go ahead and let's go. Yep, yeah, those junctions look set right for straight on through. Oh, come on. Let me reduce the throttle. <laughs> Don't glitch on me like that game. Okay, it's it's fun enough that it's my fault that we hit the barrier. I don't need the game glitching and then us hitting a barrier. <sighs> Yeah, that's the annoying thing is that it's completely—it was completely my fault. I was looking, you know, and not focusing what I was on what I was doing, and the game was just like, or you know, uh, and then I just hit the barrier at like 30 miles per hour. Um, so yeah, not great, not great. But oh well, what you gonna do about it? So right about here, we can go ahead and start stopping. Okay, try not to collide with these at very high speeds. That would be ideal if we didn't collide with these at very high speeds. But yeah, those are the cars we delivered last time. Was it last time, or was it... No, no, it wasn't last time. It was the time before that, right. Because, yeah, we did another shunting job in hopes to afford the multiple unit. And that's the job that I ended up crashing. <laughs> um, yeah. Whoops. But there we go. Nice and slow up to these ones. Beautiful. Okay, ready to go. Oh, never, never mind. Now we're ready to go. Okay. Uh, text on that crate's kind of freaking out a little bit. But okay, we're ready to go. Yeah, it definitely is a long load, but I still think that we can manage just fine. It's like this thing. <laughs> I believe in you, buddy. Okay, here we go. So let's pull out the map. So we're going to be heading up this way. And we're trying to get to where? Machine factory and town. 
Yes, the machine factory in town. Okay, so that is... Okay, it's all the way over here. So we're going to take this up here. And then... Yeah, we can go up this way. We could go up this way, or we could go down this. I think this way is the less um, gradient. And then we can go up, turn. Yeah, I think what we did before is we went down here, turned this way to the city southwest, and then up to Machine Factory. We've because we've done we've done this route before. So, yeah. And actually, if we can do a couple jobs here, an iron ore mine has a steam train. Like, the steam train's still on the table if we can make, if it would be possible to make enough money. Because it's like 20,000 extra. So if there's like two shunting jobs for 10,000 in there, and then a haul to iron mine. Um, and we might, we might be able to stop by in another town too and take a, a haul. Who knows? All I know is let's just haul off here. But yeah, no, they're not, it's not completely off the table. It's just... Yeah, it makes more sense to get multiple unit first. Money-wise, not really logically, because logically the steam train's more work. Um, but yeah, I guess money-wise it's just better to get the multiple unit with the more power before getting the steam train. But who knows? Who really knows? We are off on our adventure. Adventure awaits. Okay, so yeah, just pulling straight out of here. There's nothing really got to do. Oh, there is a track behind us, though. That is interesting. Yeah, I wonder what's up that way. Huh. Yeah, don't know. But yeah, like, if behind us is there. But yeah, we're just going to make our way up to this junction. And then probably head... I mean, either up or down. Either way. It doesn't really matter. Although this is more mountainous. Who knows? Who really knows? Seems like we went around that bend really fast. I don't know. Okay, so that's six. Four. Yeah, we're under four. Um, we're fine. But no, the fact that we're still moving means that we're still we're still going. Yeah. Yeah, definitely can't afford to derail here, so <laughs> we gotta watch our speeds. Okay, if we can hold it at this setting, that'd be pretty good. Although that temperature is creeping up there. It's just how much can we push through? Plus two point three, yikes. Cause we will lose speed eventually because yeah the engine's overheating um i'm gonna turn on the fan for the engine hopefully keep that a little cooler um i don't know if the fan's for the engine i would think so okay it's in the red we'll get it right up to this like critical mark before we start worrying about it yeah that engine's creeping up oh we got some wheel slip okay oh no it went away wheel slip went away okay is this more gradient? Oh, I don't know if we can handle more gradient. I'm gonna off it. I'm just gonna hope we can coast for a bit. Hopefully I can get it out of the yellow and then we can put it back. Plus another 1.6. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna struggle here. Come on, don't stop now. Keep it on, keep it on. Come on, please get to a point where we got a downhill slope. Just please get to a point. Please get to the crest. And just coast down. Okay, that's downhill. Going that way. Oh. And our engine stopped. Okay, that's not great. Ooh, level. Okay. We're level. Up here at the six, we are level. Okay, we've made it. Come on, hit the level. Okay, we are level. Ooh, we've reached the summit. <laughs> With our engine just barely, barely sm spitting out smoke here. Oh, come on. Power, power, power. Yeah, I know you're overheating, but I just want to get... Our cars are still on that, like, on the incline there, so I don't want to risk it. Okay, there we go. Okay, five and higher speeds ahead. Loving it. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll cut it here. There we go. Used about half our half our tank of sand. Um, but we are level. Now that there's no risk of us slipping down the mountain, look how beautiful it is. Ah, so nice. But anyways, I might go ahead and start on with a time lapse now that we're past the risky part of this mission. You know, we've gotten past the ascent out of the harbor. Um, and yeah, it should be smooth sailing from here, hopefully. 
Yeah, if just that climb out of the harbor, I think, is the most tr is the trickiest thing um, to do. But now that we are, well, clear, I think, I think we'll be fine. I mean, yeah, like, our engine's pretty much cooled off, and we're not losing too much speed. So I might bring it up to 60 in a minute. Um, but, yeah, like I said, don't want to risk, risk derailing, because then we definitely won't be able to afford um, multi-unit. So, yeah. Here we go. So I decided to go right instead of left. And I think that was a pretty cool option because we're going to get a pretty cool shot up here. I think this is a downhill? No, is it an uphill? For some reason that viaduct looks like it's going downhill, but this is the big viaduct. Um, yeah, This is the big viaduct that goes... This is the uh, goods factory. We've been in this yard before and seen this viaduct. Um... So yeah, it's pretty cool. There's a yeah, I think there yeah, there's a train track that goes under it. Yeah, we can see the you can see that track over there that goes under the viaduct, but we're about to go over the big viaduct. And it's pretty cool. Oh man, look at this. The big viaduct. Yeah, there's the goods factory down there. That's a cool shot. Yeah, that's that's the yard that caused us a lot of problems down there. <laughs> <laughs> had a, I think a derailment and a crash in that yard. Oof, not good times. Oop, there's a, pl a plus 1.6. Yeah, I figured we, we could handle this okay. It is, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's that bad of of inclines. Um, it's like a plus 1.6 here. And yeah, it seems to kind of go around the way a little bit. Oh, this seems to be, what's this coming up here? Is this like a little... Jupy Jew track. Okay, I'm a little concerned about this. I'm gonna keep the throttle where it's at. Uh, this seems like a very sharp turn, and I'm not getting a speed reading for it. What's that say? Is that a two? Seven? Seven. That's a seven. Okay. Okay, so we need not to worry. Okay, it, it looked a lot more insane from where we were. But yeah, look at that. It looks amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oop. Um... Sand. Put that on there. Put the sand on. Increase the power a little bit. Just, just try and maintain, I guess. And yeah, just going through all our sand here. Maintaining the speed. Okay, I haven't seen a I haven't seen a level off point yet. Okay, I'm gonna hold it here. I haven't seen a, a point where this is the truck's leveling off, so I think we're still climbing. Yeah, we're not really gaining speed. Okay. Might just let the engine Okay, can we take off sand? Yeah, okay, we can. Cool. Okay, we need to rev it up. Before it dies on us. Yeah, get it up to 40 before it dies on us. Come on, get it up to 40. Okay. Close enough. Cut the sand, cut the throttle. And what's this? Okay, a three. That's fine, we can't make that anyway. And a junction, okay. Oh yeah, this junction up here, we want to take a left to head towards the food factory in town. Okay, I think after, the, I think after this junction, it's downhill, hopefully. 
Go. Get up to 40. Okay, yeah, we definitely don't want to take five. That's uphill. This is level. So, okay, cool. Head in the right way. Yeah, head in, head in the right way. Okay. Yeah, that way would be more uphill towards the Iron Ore Mine East and the military base. This way should start seeing downhills and we're completely out of sand, so hopefully that's the case. Yeah, hopefully no more uphills as far as... As far as we're concerned, we can't see any more uphills. Yeah, uphills are just not possible for us. So yeah, we got this kind of spirally track down, and then we get to the food factory. And then we go through here. We may not be able to do this unless maybe we can pull into a service station at food factory and get more sand. Um, that might be possible. And then we can continue straight up here and get to iron ore mine. Or we can just go down this way, and this way would actually be a pretty level way, and then get up instead of going through the mountains. I think we'll probably go the other way and not head through the mountains. Because, um, yeah, there's no guarantee that they have sand at the food factory in town for us to load up on. Um, but it would be nice. It would be nice if we could load up on some sand um, and continue going um, the nice high mountainous routes. Because it's quite fun <laughs> going through the mountains. Yeah, I definitely can't wait for a train that's actually more capable. I mean, I bet two of these trains together is more capable. Um, but anyway, as you can see, we are starting to go downhill now. Um, but yeah, we are completely out of sand. So, that is a slight problem for us right now. But I mean, yeah, it's hard to tell. Do we take this bottom route or this top route? I think this bottom route is going to be better for us than this top route. But, again, who really knows? Who really knows? Who really knows? But yeah, at least we're at least we're out of the mountains for now. Well, we're kind of, we're still kind of in the mountains, but at least we're past the summit, which I guess is really what matters. Hey, look, another viaduct. Oh, this is a cool little valley. Oh, what's that track down there? Well, I think that's part of this part of the spiral mountain that we're going down. So yeah, we'll we'll, we'll eventually be on that track down there. Um, and then yeah, there's the other track that splits off so we see that track we're looking at this track up here and this track and this track so yeah we're gonna go around and then yeah so we'll eventually end up down there which is cool that's why that's why it would really be really be cool if there were other tr trains because imagine if we saw another train going by and that would be like the train we're behind like we'd be behind that train i mean in real life <laughs> if we were if, if this was only like like you know real scale and stuff, we'd be able to see the back of us down there, because in real life, trains are crazy long, like, you got, like, mile-long trains, so if we were coming up this mountain, that, we, that would be the back of us right there, um, there's something similar, it's called the Tacopi Loop, it's, like, in California, and yeah, it's something very similar to, to this, ooh, on, engine on, engine on, engine run, but yeah, it's, it's very similar to this. Oh, that tunnel doesn't... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, that tunnel doesn't quite look right. Um, are you sure it's safe? Yeah, no, we're fine. Okay, I might get on with... I'm, okay. B -b 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 time lapse number two. Let's go. So yeah, I guess I'll come back out of the time lapse when we get back to, um, to where we were. <laughs> After we do our complete loop. That's probably where we'll end up, down there. Very cool. Yeah, we just wouldn't want to go directly there. That would be... Yeah, if that happened, that would be very bad. <laughs> if we ended up directly on that track. Although, if we were on our wheels, and nothing was damaged, um, seriously bad, I'd call it a win. Okay, time lapse, let's go. Oh gosh, tree! Oh! Oh!
Okay, so there we go. That's the tunnel up there that we were looking down on this track. There's that tunnel up there. So we have made it. Yeah, if we were a very long train, we would be able to see some of our cars coming around that bend. Which would be... Yeah, that would be very, very crazy. Yeah, that would be a lot tricky, though, because we would have to make sure we maintain a, a very slow speed. Probably wouldn't want to go above 30, because some of those bends um, can be quite risky. Um, yeah, so we wouldn't want to go, like, above 30, um, probably, while our whole train was going around there, if it was real. Luckily, we are short, so we can, you know, now that we're down here, we are, we are safe, and this is the viaduct to the food factory in town. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and pass on through. And head on, t head on to our final destination, which is the machine factory in town. Man, no, that was a very fun way to go. Because, yeah, remember, when we were coming out of machine factory in town, heading to the harbor. Yeah, look at that. That's a cool shot. So, yeah, that's where we were up there. Uh, our plan was to go this way, but, yeah, just that 2.3 um, up. Um, <laughs> obviously, when it's a 2.3 down, it's a lot more manageable than when it was a 2.3 up. Yeah, 2.3 up, no joke. Especially when we were trying to pull a long load. We weren't, you know, pulling a, a short load. We were pulling a long load. I mean, we might have been able to do it with a short load, but still, I think the tr this train just lacks the power to do that even. 2.3 2 is a lot. Um, so, yeah. And that's 2.3 degrees, by the way. That's, so, you, you know, I mean, yeah, it's... Yeah, I mean, trains can't really handle a lot of gradient. Um, not as much as cars can. I believe cars can, like, handle, like, a 45 degrees, which I think is crazy. Um, but then again, you have rubber um, on tarmac, which is a lot more... There's a lot more friction there compared to steel on steel. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's very, very interesting. I need to apply a lot more brakes. All the brakes here. All the brakes. Just really, really, really don't want to derail here. Okay. So which way we head in? Okay. They're... Ooh, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go with the way it's set. Yeah, I think it's no matter what, we're going through a yard. Yeah, either left yard or right yard. Okay. So I'll just watch this. Make sure that we don't hit anything as we go through. Actually, if we go this way, there's nothing to hit, so we'll go this way. But yeah, we're just plus pass, just passing through. <laughs> that road's blocked. Okay, there's the um, the station office. So I just took the map for harbor, food factory, passenger station. That's where we are. Transfer yard. Okay. Overview. Okay. Wow. Okay. So we went up to... This is the passenger station. So B is the passenger... Okay. So we, yeah, we are on the opposite side. We wanted to head towards up here if we wanted to go to the service. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think we'll need it, though. I mean... Sand would be nice. We're still pretty, we're still good on fuel. And sand would be nice. Yeah, I'll like stop right up here. And we'll see. If they have sand, then we might just take a bit. Because it might be, probably be good to have. Even if we don't think we'll need it. Just go check to see if they have it first. Before we dedicate ourselves to whether we need it or not. Engine body. Okay, they got sand. They have sand. Okay. Yeah, we'll take it. I will take your sand, sir. Because I could use some. I mean, realistically, we should have put them in a siding. But they'll be fine there. There's no other trains. So I guess that's the good thing about there being no other trains except for us. We can just kind of park our train. Um, wherever. Oh, I don't have the junction set right. Whoopsies, my bad. We don't want to go here. We could also see if there's anything extra to haul out of here. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. 
No, I'll probably just wait. I mean, I'll look. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to look. Looking never hurt anybody. Unless you're looking away and then your train hits a wall. But that's different.